Hello everyone and welcome back to my let's play of Monster Hunter World. This is part two. So if you haven't seen part one, I will leave a thing up on screen. I don't really know what I'm doing with YouTube, but there'll be a link somewhere on screen to part one. So I recommend uh, that you uh, have a look at that. Um, in the previous episode, we, uh, you know, we just started our adventure. We created our character, got to the new world, uh, got into Astera. Um, found our first weapon, had a little look around, and culled some of the uh, local Jagras. Um, and now we've been asked to look after some uh, a bit of a Kestodon problem. Uh, after a bit of feedback from uh, from the previous one, we're going to make this episode a little shorter. Um, so fingers crossed, it's a bit easier to digest. And I will just say before we start, I stream on Twitch uh, Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday usually about 6 p.m. GMT. A very a variety of games. So links to to my Twitch channel and uh, other social links will be in the description down below. Um, but but. Uh, let's, uh, let's get into it, I guess. Let's go. All right. Now that you've got some materials, why don't we head over to the smithy to see what you can do with them? Holy shit, these frames. Okay. I think it, sometimes it just takes a while to load everything in, and then the frames kind of calm down after that. Uh, we, I'm just going to go and clean up some of the side quests that... I've currently popped up around the place, so uh, let's go and chat over here. The event manager. Oh, hello. Oh, hello, Fiverr. We're all ready to open our tavern and gathering hub, the Celestial Pursuit. At the gathering hub, you can meet up with other hunters and embark on quests together. To find the Celestial Pursuit, just look up. See that ship atop Astera that looks like it's about to sail off to the stars? That's it. You can get up there by taking the lift. <laughs> Please come visit us as soon as you get the chance. Okay, so that's uh, something to do with the Gathering Hub, I believe. Uh, we'll grab our login bonus because that is, is worth doing. Uh, lots of things. Uh... Use the snowman item to create snowballs. Try hit other players with three snowballs to see what happens. Snowball fight etiquette 101. Do have a snowball fight during free time. Do let other players know a snowball fight has begun. Do have fun. Don't start a snowball fight without proper warning. Don't throw snowballs at hunters during quests. So we've got snowball fights as well. Interesting. New tutorial added there. So let's go and grab this side quest. I'm usually a bit of a fiend for side quests uh, when I get the chance. So we'll probably be trying to get those in when we can. So the fifth has arrived. Greetings. Greetings there. I'm the airship engineer with the second fleet. I work on flying machines, airships and what have you. I'm sure you're curious about why you haven't met a member of the third yet. That's because they've all been stranded for years. It wasn't long after the scholars from the third landed before they insisted upon crossing the Great Ravine. So they got their ship converted into an airship and off they went. It was going well until just after they crossed the ravine. A flying monster attacked their airship and grounded them. Sure, they were reckless to go, but seeing as I'm the man who put them in the air, I can't help but feel partly responsible for it all. Ever since then, I've been working on making a better airship, one that we could use to go rescue them. But between the New World's nasty weather and the strong winds hurling down the ravine, it's been one failure after another. Still, you won't catch me calling it quits. Okay, so uh, a bit of ba bit of back information about the third there. Clearly took off on a ship, but it got stranded. Um, I wonder if we're going to find those at some point. Let's have a look at the second fleet master. There you are, Fiver. Aha! Look who's back with materials. Step right up and welcome to the smithy. You'll be needing my services a lot. What I do for you is simple. Whenever you go out in the field and gather materials, I turn those materials into weapons and armor. 
drop by whenever you find something new and interesting. Here, I'll give you some materials as a welcome present. You can use them to upgrade your equipment. So, what are we hammering together this time? Okay, so, uh, so the smithy uh, will be coming here quite a lot. You can use monster material and ore to forge and upgrade equipment at the smithy. Give the materials you earn as quest rewards or carve from monsters to the smithy to create new equipment for taking on even tougher monsters. Okay, so let's have a look at upgrading some of the equipment. Uh, I guess the idea is that we'd be looking at upgrading our switch axe. We can sort these by currently equipped, which does help. Let's look at the switch axe. Upgrading weapons. First, select the weapon you want to upgrade to. You can use materials to upgrade to different weapons with a variety of improved stats. If you want more base weapons to enhance, you can create more by selecting forge equipment at the smithy or by purchasing them at the armory. Upgraded weapons can also be downgraded. The materials used to upgrade the weapon will be returned to you. The wish list. Select a weapon with the cursor and press Y to add it to your wish list. Once you acquire all the necessary materials to create wish listed item, you'll receive a message. You can add weapons and armor to your wish list from the forge equipment screen. Okay, so I think ultimately we'd want to be looking at the defender one because that is is pretty big. Um, but we could, I think just for the for the purpose of this tutorial, I think we are supposed to just make a bone axe too. Let me go and make that. And there we go, the uh, the upgraded bone axe, nice and easy. Um, I'm gonna have a look and see if we can make something. Craft defender weapons at the smithy. You can now forge the defender line of weapons at the smithy. These weapons are geared towards the commission's defense corps. These weapons feature high proficiency and are fantastic starter weapons for hunters who have just arrived in the new world as part of the research commission. Select forge equipment, weapons, weapon type, navigate to the defender weapon tree and you're set. Note, all weapon types have a defender weapon tree. Okay, so interestingly, it kind of like just reiterates what I just said there. Try customizing the appearance of your weapons. All weapons can be equipped with pendants to customize their appearance. Pendants can be created at the smithy by selecting forge equipment pendants. You can also obtain them in various other ways. To equip pendants on your weapons, open your item box and go to pendant settings. No better way to tell your weapon I love you than by sticking decorations on it. No, pendants have no actual function in combat. Okay, something about decorations with pendants there. Interesting. Forging equipment. New weapons and armor can be created by selecting forge equipment. Most weapons, however, can't be created via forge equipment. Instead, you'll have to make a base weapon first and then upgrade it into a more powerful weapon via upgrade equipment. You, all armor can be created via forge equipment. Equipment skills. Equipment skills are helpful skills that remain active as long as you have a piece of equipment equipped. Each armor piece has its own skills. Be sure to keep an eye on the skills when forging and upgrading your gear. If multiple pieces of gear share a skill, the skills level will be the sum of each piece's skill level. Equip sets of gear with the same skills to power up those skills effects. And that's just talking about our, uh, our equipment skills and, and forging equipment and stuff like that. Uh, so finally, let's go and have a look at our switch axe tree and we can actually make the defender one which is nice let me skip the cutscenes because we've already seen that one today um, let me see if I can upgrade this one now 
uh, which would be equipped. Uh, the defender switch axe. Not quite. Okay, but that's fine. This defender switch axe is probably going to be our best for a while. So let's uh, let's run with that. I guess I could try and get you, you are, um, some some equipment. There you are, Fiver. I've got some big news for you. Production started on layered armor. You heard me right. The smithy's set to churn out layered armor on demand. Layered armor can be slapped on top of your normal armor for a fresh look, whenever the mood takes you. Stay tough. Have a look under forge equipment next time you're itching for a change. Also helps to hide those godforsaken clown suits. So what are we hammering together this time? Okay, so he's talking about layered armor there, which is a feature that came in in Iceborn. Uh, let's have a look at our Palico gear, though. Uh, I mean, in theory, I can... Insufficient points. That's why I can't make that one. That's fine. Maybe in a little bit, once we've uh, once we've done a few more few more hunts. Uh, the uh, The chef seems to have something he wants to say to us. You're interested in bulking up the canteen with more ingredients? Now that's what I'm talking about. Take care of the quest Fungal Flexing in the Ancient Forest and that menu will be more packed than a great Jagras's belly. Finish that one up and I'll be able to get my paws on the goods. Don't let me down. New quest added. Fungal Flexing in the Ancient Forest. Deliver 20 gourmet sh shroom caps. Okay, interesting. So we've actually got a, a new mission right there. In fact, we've got another quest down at the bottom. It's gathering quests. It's a quest gathering uh, episode, I think. Um, but Monster Hunter World has loads and loads and loads and loads and loads of prep. So I feel like this is, this is going to be quite a common theme running through. Yes. A hunter from the fifth, are you? Then you must have finished your first quest. Mm -hmm. This is ecological research, headed up by yours truly. Tell me, did you find any monster data out there? Tracks, gashes, that sort of thing? Data tells us a story about the monsters, an elaborate and interesting one at that. Your job in the field team is to track monsters, collect data and advance the study. Our job is to take the data, analyze it, and compile our findings for the commission. What we learn helps you out in the field too. So you see, we need each other. I'll be here. Drop by here anytime and I'll show you what we're working on. So what is it? Ecological research. Ecological research is a facility that studies monsters. Their studies can help you with your hunts and investigations. Gathering monster tracks and the like will earn you research points. Collect enough and your research level will go up, giving you access to new features and intel that will make your hunts easier. You can also consult the monster field guide to view monster info such as habitat, weakness and materials that can be carved. Research levels. Research levels do not increase automatically. When you see Report to the Ecological Research Team on the results screen, be sure to pay them a visit. In the Research Level menu item, you'll also find your Scoutfly's level, which determines their abilities. The higher your Scoutfly level, the sooner your Scoutflies will pick up the next set of monster tracks. Okay, so awesome. So that's, uh, that's about finding new... Uh, monster information, which will make it easier to hunt that mon monster in future after we've gained more information on them. Uh, that's all nice. It's uh, It actually becomes incredibly useful when you can find a monster like instantly as you enter a map. Uh, so what we need to do, we need to eat. Always something we need to do. And like I say, because I'm lazy, always go chef's choice.
Okay, and then let's talk to our handler. Hey there, partner. Right, so the next thing we need to take care of are those Kestodon. The chief said he'll tag along with us. How about we start our search in the ancient forest and go from there? Ah. Oh, and I've got some good news. We handlers post all the leads we find up on the quest board. You can sign up for quests there too, so you don't ha always have to come all the way up here. But then again, you might miss out on all the eats up here. You can pick up quests from the quest board too. It lists the same quest that I've got, so don't worry about having to check two places. Okay, that is fine. We're on the hunt. Let's head to the ancient forest to research those Kestodon. So, like I said, I'm a bit of a side quest fiend. And I think we did just get an optional one there. So, in level ones, we do have... We actually have two. Um, so, we'll just do the the fungal flexing in the ancient forest. Let's go and gather, gather some mushrooms, guys. Lucky Vouchers. When Lucky Vouchers are used when posting a quest, you'll receive bonus rewards upon completing the quest. Be sure to use Vouchers whenever you have the chance. Random quest rewards are guaranteed to drop. Reward money doubles. Note, Lucky Vouchers are obtained via login bonuses. One voucher is delivered each day and you can claim up to five days worth, five vouchers, of vouchers at once. Also note that you can only carry a maximum of five lucky vouchers at one time. Okay, so lucky vouchers are, are useful, but we'd want to use them for investigations, really, not on something like this. Um, okay, so we're just loading the quest. All right, let's stand by for departure. Let's get out of here. So I think this should be pretty straightforward. I, I don't see I don't see us getting having too many problems, and this will increase uh, what we can find or, or use. Sorry, from the from the chef's menu, using the radial menu. The custom radial menu is a useful feature that allows you to register quick shortcuts to use items, combine items, use gestures and stickers, and much more. Select Customize Radial Menu under Items and Equipment in the Start Menu to customize your radial menu. Additional features have also been added. Shortcuts can now be used in base as well as in the field. Gamepad and keyboard shortcuts can now both be used without having to switch shortcut settings. Gamepad Shortcuts Gamepad Radial Menu Shortcuts can now be used while using mouse and keyboard controls. Keyboard and mouse controls. Click the middle button while holding control to use the gamepad shortcuts. You can switch between radial menus by pressing G. Gamepad controls. Press LB while holding right stick to use gamepad shortcuts. You can switch between radial menus by pressing the D-pad. Keyboard shortcuts. Keyboard radial menu shortcuts can now be used by pressing an assigned key wants to bring up the radial menu and a second time to use the shortcut. Go to keyboard shortcut input under controls in the option menu to choose a control type and try it out. Keyboard and mouse controls. Use the key you have assigned to the keyboard shortcut slot to use the shortcuts. You can also assign keys to open each corresponding radial menu and use them to switch between the menus. Delivery quests. Delivery quests require you to collect special items. Once gathered, these items are delivered automatically and do not get added to your item pouch. As a result, there is no need to worry about running out of space and no need to manually deliver them. Deliver the required number of items during the quest to complete it. Special items other than those specified by the quest are automatically converted into Zenny. Your goal on this quest is to obtain and deliver some materials. Step one, go find some. Okay, so let's go and have a look at our... for, for some mushrooms. 
I think that's the uh, that's the main idea, right, guys? Uh, it's also useful for us to gather these herbs, just because they're going to help uh, in terms of future things. An old footprint. Interesting. I think we just... I can see a great Jagras over there in the background as well. It might be worth us uh, kind of just hunting some monsters on the side. If that makes any sort of sense. Um, we're not aiming for them. But uh, it could be useful to kind of just direct us over to, to some of the monsters. So we just found some skid marks. Uh, which is yeah, a, bit, a bit grim. Um, but there you go. Uh, it was going over this way. The great Jagras. Uh, grab some honey. The, I mean, it looks like it's going the opposite way, but uh, we do now have it. Your so let's. Your map keeps track of where you are and where the scout flies are taking you. You can also use it to keep tabs on monsters. So let's head on into to sort of chase the great Jagras. I think. Uh, we know that there's a mushroom here, which is always nice. Uh, I think they're going to want us to go down here. These guys might attack us, but they are a bit, they are a bit, um, preoccupied gathering, uh, or eating. So we're going to go and grab the bones and the, uh, the mining outcrop while we can. We know there's a uh, another set of bones in here, as we saw that on the last mission. Remember that all these materials are going to be useful for us, or hopefully useful for us later on. Um, unknown. It looks like you guys found something as well, which is nice. So we're just kind of uh, following the the great Jagras through. I should be picking up more of these uh, footprints and stuff. I don't know if we'll run into anything else as well, actually. That'd be interesting. You're less likely to lose sight of a monster if you use the focus camera. We're not going to use the focus camera because that sucks. There is another ant monster here. We're finding more stuff. All right, let's try this, guys. Okay, are we already are we already down on sharpness, or is it only green? Okay, it is only green. Oh, fuck. I thought I dodged that. You don't want to take hits like that. Huh. Holy wow, okay. Knocked down already. Okay, so this is where I can use the clutch core. I don't act I don't have any slinger ammo, so we're just gonna weaken its head. Very nice. Right, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna grab some slinger ammo here. Hold off on your claw until things calm down a bit. Okay, so he's all he's all enraged now. Got to watch out. Shit! Watch out, guys. Got to move. Get back in there. Try and get the head. Not really facing the right way. I need to swap back to sword. Wait, he just dropped something. Is that slinger ammo? I think it is. Nice, we got a big explosion there. The Great Jagras is actually weak to explosions. <gasps> There's a Pookie Pookie as well. Okay, first time we've... We've got to watch out. We've got to watch out. Holy shit, my game's lagging like hell. This is fine. It doesn't like two monsters on screen at once, clearly. Oh, Jesus. Okay, now I'm getting hit. I do apologize for the frames, guys. Fingers crossed it works itself out. Seems to have got better. It's been poisoned. Is this another mushroom? A unique mushroom colony. This is what we need. Got the materials you need. I'll mark where you found these on the wild Okay, nice. Okay, just while while those guys are, guys are duking it out, uh, we are gonna aim. Still aim for the for the great Jagras, I think. Um, but it's interesting that we've got the Pookie Pookie here. Okay, wow, the great Jagras is down. Holy hell. The uh, defender armor is a lot more powerful than than I'd expected. Actually, see if we can uh, see if we can get rid of this uh, pookie pookie. 
It's not ideal to have this. Move it. And then maybe fire it. Oh, shit. I missed the wall. Maybe it was facing the wall already. Okay, we found some more mushrooms. Apparently, uh, okay, I've hidden. I, I, <laughs> what the hell's going on? Doesn't know where I am. Quickly, let's get in here. Oh, I've been licked. We want to go back to uh, the sword when we get the chance. Damage taken. Damage taken was reduced. This is why I like defender armor, and more specifically, divine divine blessing. It looks like he's moving on. He's good. All right, let's go and skin this great Jagras. I think we've done all right there. We've uh, we've moved towards grabbing some of the uh, some of the mushrooms in the area, which is nice. Maybe if we follow the Pookie Pookie, we'll, that will lead us to uh, some more mushrooms. You can some use uh, Pookie Pookie, Pookie material there, which is good. Let's uh let's start following the Pookie Pookie. I think that's uh that's a good idea. Simply by selecting it from the wildlife map. And uh fingers crossed we find more of those mushrooms on our travel. They I believe after a while they do replenish. But we might just have to go and kind of explore a few of the uh Oh, here we go. The mining outcrop. That'll be useful. Uh, we might we might just run into to some more of these uh, special mushrooms around. Presumably, there's enough on the map to allow us to uh, to allow us to get all twenty. Hang on, sword. Oh, he's 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 stunned. Can I shoot him into the wall? There we go. We got him into the wall. Nice. Let's see if I can get to the head again. Oh, maybe the tail, actually. Tail. Ta there, there we go. We broke the tail. This is what we need. Back into sword mode. Lost a bit of mobility there. Been licked a few times. It's nice getting the tail off, though. Going to be some good materials going on there. Is he? Is he leaving? Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and get the tail while we're uh, while we're waiting for this. We can now eat again, guys, but I don't think we need it right now. And we actually got a tail, which is nice. Oh, roaring! It's angry now. We're not gonna be able to. Uh, Oh, I've knocked it down, though. Oh, annoyingly, we're going to need to sharpen, though. I think there's, um, there is something that I can do where I kind of attach to it, I believe. Okay, nice. I think we, uh... I don't know how I... I can't remember how I attach now. I'm going to need to uh, to look that up, I think. Okay, so we dropped more Pookie Pookie material, which I think is just here. We've got to keep, a, keep an eye on the quest, though, guys, because we don't want to get too distracted with, uh, with hunting the monsters. I mean, hunting the monsters is nice and all, but, um, but yeah, ultimately, uh, it's not going to not going to help us towards uh, completing this side quest or optional mission or whatever whatever they're supposed to be called <laughs> I don't know where it's oh no I think I do remember where it sleeps actually that's a lie oh wait herb they're useful grab that we're now at max potions which is good Use our grappling hook up here a bit more. I think... Oh, mushroom? I don't think these ones count, though, do they? They're not, you know, they're not the right type. Um, herb again. 
I think I've just realized that I'm recording in 720p, guys. So hopefully upscaling it's not going to look too weird for you. But I do apologize in advance if, if it does look strange. Kind of messed that up. It's because I stream in 720p, so it uh, it gets a bit weird, I think, in terms of, of trying to switch between... Or, or it's not it gets weird, sorry. I... I'm just rubbish at remembering that I need to switch it between the two. Um, but yeah, hopefully, hopefully, like I say, it's it's not too uh, shitty in terms of uh, in terms of quality for you on your end. In the end, on your end, in the end. Okay, so it was just up here, wasn't it? Right, let's get in there. See if I can get a mount. No, but we got a big part break. No. Okay, let's get the uh, let's get the attack in there. Are we back on axe? We are back on axe. Oh, I unfortunately don't have any slinger ammo on me. Shit. Oh, we got it. Nice. Good job, guys. That's awesome. So, I am thinking about going to the same area that we found the previous mushrooms. See if we can do anything with that. So, we, we've killed our first two monsters. Nice and easy, guys. Uh, Pookie Pookie and a uh, Great Jagras down. I think, I think the main story will get us to, to, to do that as well. Oh, here we go. Unique mushrooms. I guess maybe they, they spawn sort of around the area um, where other mushrooms do. That's the only thing I can think of. A um, couple of toadstools. Oh, here we go. This is another one. Oh, it looks like the right thing. Yeah, nice. Maybe I can get a bit of a loop in here. So usually... There are actually three monsters in an area, so I'm kind of, uh, I'm a bit interested to see if we, if we're going to find, find anything else. Um, okay, that's another monster where we don't know about. Okay, two. We are aware of this one now, which is interesting. I've discovered a lot of areas on the map. That's nice. Right, we're, we're now following following this. I wonder what the last I wonder what the last one is. Grab the antidote herb. They're useful because of the uh, poison things. We actually have another unique mushroom colony here. Something moving quite a lot there. You know, I'm I'm going to focus Oh, blue mushroom. I am going to focus on obviously grabbing the mushrooms if we if we find them. But this one, I mean, it seems like it's... Oh, no. Is this a Rathian or a Rathalus? This could be scary, guys, actually. I'm not sure if we're ready for this. Third monster. Is there a, like a Rathian or a Rathalus? That would be fucking awful. But hey, that's the uh, that's the life I'm I'm choosing to lead right now. Just run up here. We might actually get a uh, another one of the camps to an old scale. I think it would most likely be a Rathian. If I had to, if I had to take a guess. Rather than a Rathalus. Rathalus so early would be would be weird. I was expecting an Ange, to be honest. Which would have been nice because we uh, we might have been able to uh, with an Ange we might have been able to to get the next level of the defenders. Uh, the defenders as axe. Okay. So we we very we know a lot about this now. 
Nullberry might be useful. Nullberry, Nullberries um, remove sale, status ailments, I think, apart from poison. <gasps> it's a fucking Rathian. Holy shit. Okay, guys. Um, how do I do this? I guess I go like this. I think this is my most powerful weight. Oh, mate. I don't know. One of them was. Let's see how we do against Arathian. We've technically got the the gear to do okay. But this will be scary, I think. Okay, we got a big hit in there. Not a big hit, sorry. Oh, shit. Okay. Gotta be careful. Let me just uh, make sure we're on the, uh, the first aid. Okay, let me... Uh... Oh god, of course, the poison. Completely forgot. The claws of Arathian will poison, so we've got to be careful about that. Oh, that's bad. The waterfall's coming down. We've got to get out of there. Totally fine. I'm happy to take repeated hits like that. Let's sharpen up. Can we kill a Rathian? Second ever quest. Rathian down. Let's jump. Oops. This one. Night. Okay, we're going to get a big hit in there. Okay, we've got a nice chain going on actually right now. Building up a lot of blast. It's moving though. Time to chase after. We gotta be we we gotta be careful. I, I kind of want as much sword as I can, but I, I think lots of people might say, Oh, look at this. We might be able to flash this one. Can I oh, okay we that's fine. We survived that. Come on, face me, dude. Nice, we got it down. That's huge. Nice, it's down again. Let's work on the tail. We've got the tail off. We're attached. Huge. Can I face it to the wall? I don't think I... It didn't, oh, maybe because it went red eye. Let me see if I can. Can I be cheeky? Oh, it went over me. We got the tail. It's big. Okay, we need to swap from axe back to sword when we get a chance. Watch out for the fire. Do I have? Okay, yes, I do have antidote. That's good, actually. Luckily, we. Picked that up early. Let me uh, let me drink a mega potion. Oh. Okay. Oh shit. No. This is bad. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear, not ideal, not ideal. Drink the antidote. Come on, dude. There we go. Maybe, try, oh, maybe we could get, a, maybe we could get a mount. There we go. Hold on, brace. I need to be softening more. I tell you what, that's 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 one big thing. Maybe when it goes down, I'll uh Okay, it's down. Now's your chance to get in there and tear it up. Let's let's uh weaken the head. Okay, it's moving off. I can't believe we uh we managed to cut the tail to be honest. It's huge. Where would it move to? Is it gonna go back to its nest again? get this. This is where I'm going to complete the quest here. 
Okay, we cannot use another one of those uh, until we kill Rathian now. Uh, basically, if I if I do, I am uh, I'm going to accidentally complete the quest without meaning to. I wonder if Rathian's pretty close to. Oh, Rathalos, sorry. Not Rathian. What am I talking about? I wonder if it's pretty close to dying now. It might have gone to. S oh, no, no, no. It's still it's still walking around. Still, uh, still kind of chilling. This, uh, this defender armor, though, guys, if you're starting the game now, holy shit. This is insane. Holy sh... Okay, I think I need to try and... I think I need to try and tenderize that head if I can. Oh, that's really, uh... Really good. We got to roll to put out the fire. Still need to be tenderizing the head a bit more, I think. There you go, guys. Oh, no, I've been knocked off. Stunned. This is not good. Leave you guys to fight it out for a little bit. Let me break the head. There we go. Or tenderize the head, I should say. Oh. Roll again. Unfire ourselves. Ooh, that's lucky. You guys got you guys got poisoned. I managed to just about escape that. This is not a not a happy Rathian. I wish I had some flash. I wish I had some flash pods. Oh no, you've died. This isn't good. I do not I do not need you guys dead. Oh, I think I just killed some Ambient life. Finally. Oh, that's huge. Right, let's try and knock it into the tree. Nice. Actually got it down as well. I need to, I need to tenderize this. It's actually dying. It is actually dying, which is great. Great news. I don't think I've got anything to capture it, though, which is a shame. Yet. Uh, we will obviously sort out uh, loadouts and stuff like that in the future. Where the hell is it going? I just need to go up. Show me the way, spark flies. Please. Help me. Help me. Okay, they're completely confused. I don't know which way. Okay, N now we're going this way. I think they finally just about settled. I said this was going to be a shorter episode. I think it's going to end up being just as long. <laughs> I can only try, I guess. Wait, what is it? What is it doing? Which way? Okay, we're going up. It'll have gone back to its nest where we uh, where we initially encountered it, I think. Okay, let's uh, let's get some let's get some energy back first. I don't think any enduring quests and stuff like this. I don't think any more monsters come into the area. So, uh, yeah, it's it's pretty much pretty much just just as it is um okay so one let's get our weapon out and then i think this is our wake up oh did i just roll the uh the cry that's pretty I, I, I never usually do that. So I am impressed with myself. Come on. Let me dodge. 
Oh, no. Okay, so you can really get logged in, locked into that. Okay, we're stunned at the moment. Okay, this Rathalus is not a happy bunny. Subscribers have died again. Oh, nice. I got him in the head. I actually need to, uh, to tenderize the head a bit more, I think. Oh, okay. Thank God. Defenders actually carries us so much. Defenders armor. Oh, okay. We got him. Slain. Great stuff, guys. Let us gather some Rathium parts then, which is, at this point in the game, is huge. I think it won't actually be that big because Defender's Armor is is, is massive, but um, still interesting to, to have this uh, so early. Right, we're going to go down to the bottom area again and... Um, and grab some of those mushrooms. Just finish up the quest. And uh, I think I'll probably call it there for today. Um, it's probably going to take us a year to uh, to finish the game. Doing it doing it as we, as we currently are. But there you go. I, I do like... Getting the side quests out of the way is, is always useful. I think. So let's go and gather these. And I think that should be quest done. There you go. Brilliant. What a quest. Great Jagras, Pookie Pookie, and Arathalus down. Gathered some gourmet mushrooms, which will make uh, what we can eat better for next time. So I think that's, uh, I think, I think all in all, that's pretty successful. Good job, guys. Good job. Let's see, let's see what we did. So, uh, armor sphere, blue mushrooms, toadstools, bit of bugs, toadstools, bit of bugs, ancient bones, blue mushrooms, great jagras claw, great jagras mane, monster bone s, great jagras hide, great jagras claw, great jagras mane, pookie pookie sack, pookie pookie sack, monster bone m, poison sack, pookie pookie quill, rathless scale, rathless tail, rathless shell, and rathless shell again. And, uh, you guys got two monster bone smalls and uh, a mal malachite uh, I think uh, or got a few points we might actually be able to get you some better armor actually thinking about it if I could get Rathalus for you guys that would be great uh, load of largests leveling up you a huge amount up to two levels wait it's not going to be three three levels Three levels up to level five. That's huge. Okay, brilliant. Okay, that, this was great. So, uh, soiled mushroom cap was added to the canteen. And exquisite mush, uh, shroom cap, sorry, I should say, been listed uh, uh, for delivering. Okay, brilliant. That's great. I think that was a successful quest, guys. So, I think we are going to call it there for today. Um, we'll go and clean up what, we, what we've what we done uh, from that quest um, in the start of the next episode. But it's gone way over what I was planning to do. So, uh, so yeah, I think it's a good point to, uh, to jump ship. I hope you all enjoyed yourself. If you did, remember to hit, a, hit the like or subscribe if, if that tickles your fancy as well. If you've got any feedback of how I can make this series any better, uh, please leave it in the comments down below. Uh, I do take that on board and I, I try and make this as good as I possibly can. And uh, yeah, otherwise, other social links, Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, Discord, all down in the description down below. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you next time, guys. Goodbye.